New on Good Morning Tucson at 6.07. It's an update on the work happening inside a treatment center here in our community. Narbrook Chow has checked in with the staff at Cottonwood Tucson helping patients tackle their mental health and substance use disorders. And she joins us now to talk about some national recognition the facility is getting. Brooke, this is exciting. It definitely is. I've shared with you over the past year stories coming out of Cottonwood and you could see this is the first time that I actually got to go inside and get a tour, which is some of the video that you're seeing right here behind me. And like I said, over the last year, we've really gotten to get close and build a relationship. So they reached out to me about a national recognition that they received, making them one of America's best addiction treatment centers for the year. So this is why I sat down with the CEO about what this means for this facility. But I also got to sit down with a past patient who is now an employee, changing the lives of people who are once where she was. Take a look. A 35 acre walk through a campus like environment right here in the desert. Cottonwood Tucson is a quiet, secluded facility for patients seeking mental health or substance use recovery. The hard work and commitment at Cottonwood Tucson has been nationally recognized as one of America's best treatment centers of the year. When we think about, you know, Cottonwood getting this award, um, it's pretty special. But really what we want it to be here is that we're saving lives. Um, not just the, the, the loved one who's here, but the loved ones who are out there. CEO Melissa Hetzel talks to me about what this award means for the facility. I have a brother who passed away from his addiction and his mental health disorders, and so Cottonwood Tucson for me represents taking care of somebody, somebody, somebody's husband, somebody's wife, somebody's daughter, somebody's lover. Susie represents what we're doing here, and that's what's important to me. Susie was a patient at Cottonwood three years ago after hurting her back and becoming addicted to the pain medication, eventually doing heroin and cocaine through an IV on a daily basis. Her journey at Cottonwood, she tells me, is one she will never forget. Everyone genuinely cares, and I had never been anywhere that I felt like everyone cared about me. Today, she is now an employee, helping others through their own recovery and enjoying her life at home. A full member of my family again, instead of destroying relationships, I have like deep and meaningful connections with my family, it reunited with my son, and um, I mean, it saved my life. I asked Susie about the recognition and also about the impact Cottonwood still has on her life today. Do you think if it wasn't for Cottonwood, you'd still be, that you'd still be here? No, I know that I'd be without Cottonwood. For anyone who may be struggling and seeking some sort of recovery, Susie and Melissa have a message for you. If you're at home struggling with addiction or any mental health issues, like there's help out there and there's hope. So anyone that's broken and at the end of their road, I reach out. Don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up on your loved one. Now, I spent nearly two hours with Susie and Melissa last week, and if there's anything that I took away from our time together, it's that this award is an achievement, but nothing really out of the norm. This is simply their passion and something that they will continue to do forever. Back to you guys. Well, Brooke, I mean, an incredible story there, just inspirational people. You were saying that um, the vast majority of the employees have all been through addiction and, and treatment? In some way, yes. Some of the employees were actually past patients like Susie, who we just met. But some of the employees there know of at least somebody that's been impacted by addiction in their family, friend group. So it's a pretty impactful story and definitely learning by doing. And Brooke, I'm sure it was you know great to see sort of you know the, the environment and the support system, not just physically, but the people there set yeah. up to help others when you have sort of that shared experience it can make yeah. all the difference definitely That's and i'm huge. sure you could see with some of the video how beautiful this property is and this recovery center is a little bit of a different approach they let you do more of your own thing and they do have some group activity but it's really a holistic approach to recovery that's great they're clearly doing a lot of good work brooke thank you so much